I'm talking about living with the Maasai in Kenya in 1977 and drinking blood with milk. Traditional food can be found in every culture. For instance, Italian have pasta, American have cheeseburger and apple pie. Among the Maasai, a unique tribe in East Africa whom I had the privilege to live with for a short period at age 27, the traditional diet relies heavily on cow milk and cow blood. The blood is obtained by nicking the jugular artery of this you see in the picture of a cow precisely allowing for the blood letting that doesn't harm the animal. Mixed blood and milk are used as ritual drink, special Maasai celebration or giving to the sick. Living with the Maasai, sharing their daily routine and participating in unique ritual was a profound anthropological and cultural experience. At the core of my anthropological experience worldwide is a principle of non-judgmental observation, curiosity, and deep desire to understand the relationship among people, the relationship to the world, to the spiritual life, as well as the meaning and purpose of the customs and rituals. One striking aspect of living with Maasai was a strong tribal identity contrasting with the more individualistic, what we are used here in the West, individualistic Western family focused structure. Living among them, it was challenging and fascinating to discern the biological relationship, such as parentage, siblingship, as this role were often communal sharing rather than strictly defined. So they were not kind of mother, father, and a child. And it was fascinating time of learning living with the Maasai. Uh, 